Living life just like I should. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Hello everybody, welcome to Tunes91. I'm here to review another fragrance review for you all. It's been quite a moment. It's been a moment. And a lot of shit has happened in the world since then, back in my day, when I used to review fragrances. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm here with my trusty coffee and friend Deadpool, and we are going to review Amouage Reflection Man for you all. So, Amouage Reflection Man uh, has kind of bounced around in the depths of the fragrance community for quite some time, since basically the beginning of reviewing. Um, if you haven't heard of it, you're either just being introduced to fragrances, or you've been living under a rock. So, Amouage as a house. Wonderful, wonderful house. Um, it's, a, it's considered a luxury perfume, so you'll find it on Lucky Scent, places like that. Uh, in New York, um, what else? All those higher end fragrance companies. And basically, this fragrance house uh, will kind of invoke the image of luxury through their presentation, for one. So, as you can see, we have the bottle kind of resting in this beautiful velvet, and we have jewels on all the caps, and this nice little crescent here. And the caps are actually uh, magnetic now, so as you can see, it just snaps right down. As you can see, um, I have used quite a chunk of my bottle. I, this is actually my third bottle of Amouage Reflection Man, and um, if you know me and know my style and the fragrances that I like, I have a lot of niche fragrances, so saying that I've bought three bottles of this all together is kind of saying quite a quite a bit for the fragrance because A, it's not cheap. Um, you can find this on retailers like FragranceNet for a not so chunk, big chunk of change, like maybe 135, 160 bucks for the 3.4 ounce. Um, now there is two bottle sizes, the 1.7 ounce and the 3.4 ounce. And it's going to run you, if you pay retail uh, prices for it, it's going to run anywhere between like 235 to $280 American. Um, but like I said, you can find it at discounters like Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, for much cheaper. Sprayer nowadays. That is what you're looking at for the sprayer. It's not terrible. It's not great. Um, it's much better than the old sprayers. They used to kind of dribble a bit and go running down the neck. Just wasting your juice. Wasting it. So, let's take a look at the note breakdown. What does it say on Lucky Scent? I, I can't wait to see it. Uh, according to Lucky Scent, there are notes of rosemary, red pepper berries, bitter orange leaves, uh, neroli, orris, jasmine, lang lang, vetiver, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar wood. It does not list lavender, which I think is a complete freaking slice of bullshit. Bullshit. This has lavender. Um, right off the bat, it smells soapy. Uh, you get the neroli. Some of the jasmine. Jasmine's actually very prominent in this fragrance. I hate jasmine. I hate jasmine. Uh, the animalic quality of jasmine smells very pissy in a lot of fragrances, and I am just not a fan. Um, it's a little too thick, a little too overwhelming, overbearing, but it's beautiful in this fragrance, so I don't know what's up with that, because anytime I've ever smelled jasmine, I just freaking, oh my god, steer me in the other direction. Um, so we get the neroli, we get the Oris has like a, a has a bit of a buttery, powdery feel to it when we start to get to the mid and dry down. Um, I actually have to dry down on this hand here. It's it's not listed, but vanilla and lavender is definitely a part of the fragrance in my opinion. Um, it's like the luxurious grown-up version of Limal. You've heard it a million times if you've seen any reviews on this. Um, is there a comparison? Yes. Is this better? 100%. Uh, Le Mal is decent. It's a vanilla, kind of cinnamon, creamy candle feel to it. This is a grown-up man. Actually, total unisex. Reflection man. I don't really know. Whatever, it's marketing. But it's totally unisex. Um, no label attached to this one. The woods aren't prominent enough in it. The cedar wood and the sandalwood. Uh, for it to be like a manly fragrance, it's totally 
cut down the middle in my opinion because we have the powdery aspect, we have that vanilla creamy aspect, um, we have the florals in there. If anything, if anything, this is a little bit more feminine. But I love this scent. I think it's good for any time whatsoever. It doesn't matter any age group at all. Um, if you're looking to get right into niche fragrances and you are a newcomer to that genre of fragrance, definitely check this one out. It's it's easy to get along with. Um, you don't have to spray too many sprays with it, you know, three to four and you're good. So you get a decent bang for your buck, especially if you're getting it from a retailer that's at a discount price. Uh, other than that though, this fragrance is great for fall. It's great for winter. I can wear it in the spring. I can wear it in the summer. It's basically just kind of changing and calibrating your trigger, or, uh, your triggers, your sprays per the month. So if it's fall, you might do like three or four. If it's winter, you might do five or six. If it's summertime, you might do one or two. It doesn't matter. This is kind of like an anytime fragrance in my opinion. Um, goes well with a suit, goes well with jeans and a t-shirt, goes well no matter where you are, school, an outing, perfect scent. All in all, the fragrance isn't really, it's not like a, a wowing fragrance in the term in terms of like it being a, a masterpiece in the niche world um, but in my opinion it is one of my favorite fragrances it's very comforting very sexy very sensual very easy to get along with cozy um, I have gotten compliments out the wazoo with this thing and you know Deadpool definitely agrees that this fragrance is sexy as fuck so <laughs> you should just hop on it and this is like what Ron Swanson, you know, how he loves bacon, that's how I am with this fragrance. Like, it is the equivalent of Ron Swanson's bacon to Tim Coon's fragrance collection. I love this goddamn shit and I will continue to wear it no matter what. So, all in all, uh, this fragrance to me is a wonderful scent. It's easy to get along with, works all year long, therefore, it gets a higher mark in my book. Um, I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. The only thing that would put people off is the fact that it is a little bit more expensive, but it has lasting power, the sillage is great, um, only a couple sprays, wonderful fragrance, tons of compliments, therefore it is ranked among some of the greatest, in the same league as some of my favorite fragrances ever created, and all in all, I absolutely love this gem, and I hope you all check it out. I hope you have a good day and a good holiday. I'll talk to you all later.